had us receive the question on uh, one of my videos. They want to know about a stock. And I think you would actually like Which stock? I was asked, what do I think about Offshore Group? You know I love my dividend payers. Tell me what you think of it. All right, I'm going to price action first. And I'm looking at the weekly candles. And then the, the red vertical lines and the green vertical lines indicate uh, lows. And the green vertical lines would be higher lows. And the red lines would be lower lows. So I try to color code it to make it easier for you to see. And as you can see on the weekly candle, obvious uptrend and downtrend. Right now we're in a sideways trend. And it seems it can't make its mind up. So we'll start with that. All right, on the daily candle, you can see recently it's starting to roll over. Okay, based on earnings, you can see back in 2015-16 area where I got the uh, red circle at the high point that the price was overvalued based on earnings. And then now you can see that the price has been deep and tied to earnings, giving you a good margin of safety on the price versus earnings ratio. On the bottom right of your screen, I'll circle, you see the SP credit rating and the long-term debt capital. I'm not a fan of the long-term debt capital. I would have to investigate that further if I was interested in buying this company. And the uh, credit rating is not the best, but it's not terrible either. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the earnings per share growth has been increasing. And according to analysts, it is expected to continue to increase into the future. It's also good to notice the uh, track record of the analysts that have been reporting on this company. So the company has been hitting or beating this earnings expectation one to two years out. This looks good. Now show me that dividend money. The company has a long track record of 53 years of paying out executive dividends. But what does the free cash flow say about the health of that dividend? The white line I have circled is the dividends. You can see they've been growing the dividends from left to right. And also the free cash flow from left to right has been increasing and covering that dividend very well. It appears the company itself takes pride in paying out their dividends and raising their dividends year after year. Here, go to the website and read what they got to say. I will read it. Altria says, a strong consistently dividend remains a top priority for us. Therefore, to provide investors with confidence in consistent growth, we established a new progressive dividend goal that targets mid-single digits per share growth annually. Yeah, and just think the starting yield today is around 9% starting dividend yield, and plus their history does show them increase in their dividends, and recently it's been around 5.2% uh, compound on the growth rate, and the free cash flow coverage has been doing fine. It's at 82%. That is impressive. Morningstar's last updated fair value for them is $52. And they have them down as an economic moat as a wide. That's very good. However, their moat trend, on, according to them, are negative. So take that however how you want. I'll post the uh, part of the article below this video so you can read it for yourself. So what do you think? Well, as any company, any stock, you can always find articles with a bull case for it and a bear case for it. You can always talk yourself out of buying anything. However, if I had an income portfolio that I was wanting to put something in, I'd definitely put this on a watch list. I'd watch the price action and look for a good entry point. That's what I would do, and um, I would read up more on it before I made my decision to buy it to make sure everything looks on the up and up. Thank you. I will be adding this stock to my watch list. My friends like dividends too, so I will send them this video.